they opened the car door and they took him. I don't have children. He's my boy. Picture this. Returning to your car after only a few minutes to discover that your beloved dog has been taken. This is Oliver, a 10-year-old Shih Tzu and Yorkie mix. And boy, does he have quite the story to tell. It's okay, Oliver. It's okay, Oliver. It's okay, buddy. You gotta put some conditioner first because you're greasy. On November 25th, as I strolled through Palm Beach Airport okay, searching okay, for a good okay. read, I stumbled upon a book titled Oliver. Unable to resist the adorable dog on the cover, I found myself fighting back tears for the next six hours as I delved into the touching tale of his disappearance and reunion with his owner. The story moved me so profoundly that I reached out to invite Stephen, Oliver's owner, to bring him in for a grooming, eager to share their heartwarming story with others. I use the close open close method on him today, which is conditioner, shampoo, conditioner to help with his greasy skin. And because he is a non-shedding dog, we use nasty critter deep cleaning shampoo and conditioner. Okay, Oliver. Oh boy. Gotta do your face. Oh. I gotta wash your face. I gotta wash your face. Nope. Nope, you may not wash my face. <laughs> there we go, okay. I can wash your face as long as you're not looking at me. It's okay, it's okay, buddy. Okay, one more conditioner. Good boy. You don't like this at all. Oliver's book goes beyond just the tale of a missing dog. It dives into the lives of individuals on diverse journeys, uniting for their shared love of dogs and unique connection they have with us. This story touches on family, compassion, and most importantly, it embodies a message of hope. I'm not a fan of having your face touched. Okay, buddy. He's pulling a Melvin. If you read Oliver's book, you'll discover that Stephen has encountered numerous challenges, with the most significant one being the loss of his mother to cancer when he was just 13 years old. Interestingly, I scheduled Oliver's appointment on April 6, which would have been Stephen's mom's 95th birthday. Is it merely a coincidence? I doubt it. It feels like Steven's mom is still watching out for him. I'm gonna give you a haircut now. A new spring do. It's okay. Hey. Oh. It's okay. Where is it? Where is the mat? Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm gonna cut it out. I guess you got quite a few in there. Okay. That's better. Your stomach is making all kinds of noises, Oliver. Of course, Oliver's yes. story does have a beautiful ending. I don't know. Come with him, come with him. Oliver! Hello, baby! Which is why I encourage you all to click the link below and read the story for yourself. I'm gonna do his face before his paws because something tells me he is going to be troublesome for those little paws. Okay, can you sit? I know you don't like facing me. You want to face the wall, which is unusual, but I need to do your face. Doing your face is going to be quite the challenge, I think. And back to facing the wall. Okay. Come here. No, no, you cannot use your front paws. Good boy.
away, Oliver. It's okay. I know, you don't like it. Good boy, Oliver. Good boy. It's okay. It's okay, Oliver. It's okay, Oliver. It's not like these front paws being yeah. touched. No, no, no. No, do not bite. It's okay, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You gotta go very slow. He does not like the paws. I sprayed him down in mild cucumber cologne. And sweet Oliver is ready to go home. Well, <laughs> are you all done? <laughs> are you are you all done? Are you looking at you? <laughs> yeah, look at what's up there you doing. He's happy to be done. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. You won't you won't go home? Ah, ah, you you won't go home? I, I mean we have, have, have we been in Canada too long or no? You won't go home. Ah, <laughs> Good job. Thank you, Vanessa. You're Did you welcome. say thank you? <laughs> Hello, my name is Stephen Carino, and I am the author of Oliver and Oliver for Young Readers. And this is Oliver, who was just groomed by Vanessa. This is a story of a stolen dog and the humans he brought together. And the story itself is a love story in many ways. Predominantly a love story between man and his dog, but also the love that it brought out in community, family, strangers, and so many people who helped get Oliver back to me. It's a very uplifting story. And, um, you could find it at Amazon or Barnes & Noble uh, online, and we're sure that you would enjoy this story. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe or follow button for more fluffy content. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the outstanding Oliver.